Oh my gosh, don't lose the mask. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. You're good to go. Thank you have a wonderful day. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You okay? You got a mask? I want to note the time, 9.34 in the morning. 9.34 in the morning. Good morning, how are you? Doing well, thanks for being here for us. <laughs> Welcome back to Disney Springs. Good morning everyone and welcome to Disney Springs. Today we are here to experience some of the magic and of course try the welcome back frappuccino drink from Starbucks. Now you are allowed to take off your mask when you are eating or drinking something but I have found a spot totally isolated, no one around me, so I'm going to enjoy this with the mask off but you know you gotta be, gotta be cautious. It's a very weird feeling taking your mask off but we're gonna enjoy this drink together. Very very good flavor right there. Not my favorite frappuccino of all time. Definitely not, but not a bad one. Now the time is 9.47 in the morning, and I was thinking to myself, you know, it's early in the morning, so it wouldn't be that crowded at Disney Springs. Part of the reason why we're here now, supporting our local businesses and Disney Springs as a whole, but the lack of crowds has shocked me, absolutely taken me totally back because there's maybe 30 people here in all of Disney Springs. One thing I really like about what Disney Springs has done is they've taken, oh my gosh, don't lose the mask. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they've taken every precaution to make sure that we don't have to touch anything. Open trash cans, cleaning constantly, everything. I'm thinking through every single move that I make. I'm not touching anything I don't have to. I'm just being extra cautious at all times. I didn't even mean to do it, but you can see there's that kind of a hidden Mickey I've made with the, uh, the rings right there. Just so glad to be back. After a few more sips, the Welcome Back Dragon Fruit Frappuccino is okay. It's okay. I'm glad we tried it to you know, officially welcome ourselves back to Disney Springs. Is it anything I would go out of my way for? No, I would not. Now, I do want to address the fact that Disney does feel different when you have to wear a mask everywhere. There's cleaning everywhere. I mean, there, there is no spot that has not been cleaned, not being constantly wiped down. So it is a different feeling, but the magic, I am just, I'm just shaking with the feeling of magic because I'm so glad to be back. It's been over two months. I am so, so glad to be back. As guests walk by, I'm actually putting the mask on. Even though I'm allowed to take it off while I'm drinking something, I just want to make sure that we're all being 100% safe. And I'm so grateful to Disney and to everyone in our community because I've walked around. There's, like, I don't know, 30, 40 people around me. That's, that's how many in Disney Springs right now. Everyone is wearing a mask. Everyone's following those precautions. I feel safe. Now, if you're wondering about these, I accidentally cut my hand just a little bit. Not too bad, but I wanted to make sure it's covered up. So any open Open, open wound I think is really important to also cover up as well. That's that's kind of a, a thing about being out and about. I'm also not touching my face. I know taking the mask on and off, that's, that's a thing that I'm, I'm cognizant of, but you know, only for eating and drinking. The Welcome Back Frappuccino, the dragon fruit frappuccino, it's okay, it's okay. I wouldn't go out of my way for it, wouldn't even get it again. But the whipped cream on top, that green whipped cream, not sure what it is, is amazing. The, I, I need the whip, green whipped cream everywhere. The low safe flavor, I don't know what it is, but that whipped cream is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up put my mask back on, and we're gonna walk around Disney Springs and explore a little bit today. Of course, all the precautions are being taken here at Disney Springs. Physical distancing is a must. Everyone must remain six feet apart at all times. Masks are required everywhere you go unless you are eating or drinking something. All trash cans are propped open so you don't have to touch them to throw out items. Very smart. Physical distancing lines are out and about in where lines form so you know exactly the space to leave. Hand washing stations can be found all around Disney Springs with soap, water, and those towels to dry your hands. And of course, washing hands are encouraged and all the rules are posted throughout Disney Springs. They're definitely taking every precaution. Let me tell you, being back has had almost a hypnotic effect on me. I am just, just loving it. Loving being back. Two months, two months of not being here and you appreciate it so much more. I have missed this so, so much. Wow.
There are indicators on the ground so you know which side of the sidewalk to walk on, whether it's the right-hand side with the arrows or the left-hand side, arrows over there. This is the part that really impresses me. 10.04 in the morning, look at the crowds around me. Very, very, very few people. I like that. Joffrey's Coffee, also open, and the Boathouse. And take a look right here. Places where you can and cannot stand to see the boat lawn. Now there's something I cannot wait for, the future. The Amphibicar. One day in the future, we're definitely gonna do it. Never hurts, never hurts to have that hand sanitizer. Wine Bar George, full food and menu available to go. I've heard nothing but amazing things about Wine Bar George. Not a big fan of alcohol, as you know, but the food I've heard is delicious. Chicken skewers, octopus salad, wow, meatballs. They've got a lot of great delicious looking items. Things to try in the future. Look at the our, uh, cheese board right there, wow. One of the most common questions I get, Michael, it's gonna get really hot in Florida this summer. It already is hot, it's 82 degrees right now. Will you still have to wear a mask and is it more difficult to breathe in the heat? I gotta slow down talking sometimes because, you know, Got to take slower, deep breaths just to, you know, make sure that the oxygen's getting as you can see when I breathe in, it goes like that. That's, you know, taking slower breaths. Is it a little bit more difficult to breathe? Perhaps, but if you take it slower, take slower breaths, it really helps, really, really does. Now, is it uncomfortable to wear in 82 degrees? For me, this mask, it's not, it's not, but I am just myself. There are others out there who have different conditions, who, you know, different breathing issues, totally understand that. Could be different for everyone, but for me at the moment, it's not difficult or uncomfortable. You just gotta breathe a little bit slower to make sure I'm getting in that full breath because there is a cover over my mouth right now. A great idea for takeout food today would be Deluxe Burger, but I'm not 100% sure if it's open or not. Given the lines on the ground here, I would imagine they'll probably open a little bit later, but eventually I'd love to get another burger from Deluxe Burger, maybe to go, bring it home, eat it there. That'd be great. We'll definitely be back to Disney Springs given all these precautions and quieter crowds, no doubt in my mind. Time is now 10.19 in the morning and more guests are definitely coming in at this point. Definitely. Here's another one that I want to try again. Open from 11.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Chicken Guy. We'll be back, no doubt about it. We tried it before, we're gonna try it again. Emotion. It's amazing to see the transition. 10.23 right now, a lot more people coming to Disney Springs. I think it's gonna be even more popular in an hour. Ample Hills construction, slowly but surely. They'll get there, Disney Springs. Now there's one I can't wait for, the M&M store at Disney Springs. Ah, this is gonna be great. Oh, you can scan for exclusive offers. What? For reference, this is right next to the NBA Experience, the M&M store here at Disney Springs. Still got a little ways to go, but it's really made a significant progress. I keep sanitizing my hands over and over again. It's good, it's good. Here City Works, you can see they're actually working on the outside here. It opened recently, but I think they may expand or something like that. It was really popular and super good. I recommend City Works at Disney Springs big time. I like this, happily whatever you're after. You see that for Disney Springs? That's great. You can see the crowds are starting to appear a little bit more around here. Not too, too intense, but a little bit more. I've been standing in the sun for just about an hour now, and the mask itself, totally fine. Gotta go slower though. You know, I gotta take deeper breaths and slower breaths. And you can see, taking breaths between talking and the vlog. That's a big thing for me, because I'm used to talking this fast, and I gotta... <sighs> good, good. Of course, there are a few stores that have not opened yet, as we would imagine, smaller stores like this one right here, the Candy Cauldron, but slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Next time we come to Disney Springs, we're gonna try this Starbucks as well. They have a takeout right there. You can't get even close to the counter, which I think is super smart. You can take out coffee right there. So both Starbucks open and Joffrey's Coffee open. Great morning here at Disney Springs. Gonna start wrapping it up now, but wow, this feels so good to be back. Fantastic, welcome back to Disney Springs. It feels amazing to be back. It's unique, no doubt about it. It's a different way to experience Disney, but it feels, you can imagine how it feels. It feels so good. It feels so, so good to be back. And we'll definitely be back again real soon. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me. It was so much fun sharing Disney Springs with you today. Until next time, have a truly magical day.